Now, what y'all are about to see is the day that we moved in. Um, I really tried to get as much footage as I possibly could, but I did not want to be in the way because the movers, they come with a strategy and it's just really to execute as quickly as possible and I don't want to be a pain. And um, I had the kids. We checked into a hotel that's right across the street from our apartment and um, I had them, the movers got here at eight o'clock sharp. They were due between, anywhere between eight and five. So they got here right at 8 a.m. Uh, I finished cleaning that morning, went back to the room, hung out with the kids, and Jake was over here helping the guys and telling them, you know, where to put all of the stuff. Um, so a lot of the footage of the actual move-in was recorded by him. And, uh, yeah, you know, it was really just a day of dividing and conquering. I hope that you enjoyed this. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I thought it was so dope that they used the balcony. That, to me, is just so genius. I think we had a team of five movers. Um, the guy that you see now handling the stuff in the beginning was our main like point person, and they're just putting the stuff over the balcony, handing it to him, and Jake's telling him where to go. So there aren't bodies all in the way, and there aren't a ton of people asking Jake where the items go. Here is where I walked in with the kids. They were probably three fourths of the way done bringing everything in off of the truck. It was absolute madness in the house, but I mean, what else do you really expect? is the only bed that you'll see put together because it was the only bed that they took apart at the previous house. Um, if you do remember, I bought the kids new beds before we left and then we just, we didn't even put them together. We shipped them in the packaging that they came to the house in. And um, the movers by contract are not allowed to open and put together any new furniture. Um, also, you'll notice we just tweak a few things, like they put the mattress on the incorrect way, so me and Jake flip that around, and again, this man is obsessed with the tiny spaces between the wall and the wardrobe, so we pushed ours over. Um, the day that we moved in, I always like to get the kids ready immediately, so I do things like set up June's changing table, um, you'll see Gabriel here wiping the table, Jake worked on putting together Gabriel's bed, and I worked on putting together Jimmy's crib.
showed the finished crib, but I didn't show the bed. So here is Gabriel enjoying the fruits of Jake's labor. You'll notice that there are a lot of boxes in our house. You can request an unpack, however, I never do. I always like to wipe down the furniture and wash all of the dishes before we decide where things go or before the items in the kitchen get put away. Um, but I don't know why I had the bright idea at one o'clock on a move-in day to unpack the living room TV. Um, my husband had to work the next day. We were already tired and cranky. However, he did entertain me with unpacking this TV. Um, Y'all, no lie, we bickered like 75% of the time that you see us together on camera, just over the silliest stuff. But uh, it all worked out. Um, bless him for putting up with me. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.